So Stephen Covey said trust was important, but that's just a sound bite, isn't it? Uh, what about the stats? What about the science? What does the science say about the importance of trust? And one of the things about doing a DBA is that you're driven and challenged to justify everything you say. Um, and the way we do that is by doing research. And uh, I'm sharing with you some figures on the slide here. Research of a survey of over 500 senior leaders asking them how important is trust to certain organisational outcomes. 89% trust is critical to attracting top talent. 91% trust is critical to customer loyalty. 88% trust is critical to bottom line performance. And even 69% trust is critical to short term profitability where maybe there's most temptation to trade trust for other drivers of business. So if trust is that important, why is it that we are routinely destroying it in leadership life and have been doing so every year since the year 2000? The figures I'm sharing with you on this slide are from a survey called the Global Trust Barometer carried out by Edelman PR. It's a survey of 33,000 respondents across 28 countries. It comes out in February of each year. These are the 2017 figures and they are the worst figures on record in terms of the public's trust in leadership in various aspects of institutional life. So whether it's non-governmental organisations, business, media, government, we can see that trust ever since the year 2000 has experienced drastic falls such that now in all of those institutions in this country, and these are the UK figures, the challenge for leaders based on these figures now is that we've fallen below that 50% watershed. So people like me and my generation, when I came into business and I introduced myself as a leader to someone, as someone in authority, on balance, the starting point would be, I trust you because you are someone in authority. What these statistics tell us is that when it falls below 50%, on balance, on average, if I introduce myself and if you introduce yourself as a leader, as someone in authority, then on balance, the average response to that is, I don't trust you. I don't trust you for exactly that reason, that you are someone in authority. Leading in a world where people don't trust you is a very different challenge from leading in a world where people do trust you. And this is the, the leadership challenge, I think, that we are facing collectively. Where we see it most dramatically is in the world of politics. Because when trust falls below that 50% level, weird things start to happen. How many of you wondered why Donald Trump is in the White House? How many of you wonder why we voted for Brexit? There are a lot of commentators that would suggest that that chart tells you all you need to know about why weird things are happening in leadership. Now, we don't vote for our CEOs, but where this shows up in business is in lost productivity, because the people coming into those workplaces, if they don't trust you, they're basically saying, I'm not going to commit wholeheartedly to your goals and your drivers and your priorities. I'm going to hold something back because I don't know when you might turn around and tell me that I'm too effing nice or something similar. <laughs>